Hello everybody, how are you? Hope you're fine. Uh, today we are going to start with a new lesson as usual. Uh, each week we have a new lesson to uh, discuss. This time our lesson is about uh, possessions. We are, we are going to learn how to talk about possessions in Arabic language and how to use possessive pronouns as suffixes in Arabic language. Let's just start guys first by introducing the objectives of this lesson. The student here should be able to figure out who something belongs to, use possessive pronouns, create sentences or questions using possessive pronouns as suffixes, create sentences in Arabic language, and create a dialogue in Arabic language, which, which is uh, we, uh, we uh, put a closure to, uh, to our lesson by the dialogue uh, between uh, two or three people. We'll see. Figure out who something belongs to. Actually, this is the first objective, okay? So figure out who something belongs to. Type. The question word, Liman, is the combination of the two words. So to figure out who something belongs to, you're going to ask a question, okay? This question is what? Starts with what? With Liman. Li is for and man is who, okay? We know that when we use man, which means who, you're asking about what a person, okay? Always who, you don't use it to ask about things or animals, you're asking about a person. So the question word li man is the combination of the two words. Li is for, plus is who. So it becomes for who. For who is means whose, okay? So if, if, if you want to figure out who something belongs to, you start with whose, which is Liman. Now, for who or whose what? Let's, let's see what do we put after whose. Put the object after the expression. So you have to put the object that uh, you want to see um, for who this object belongs to. Okay, it's an object, it's a thing, anything, okay? Whose, here they put an object which is book. Whose book is this? What do you mean by whose is Liman? We start with shuffle in Arabic. We start with this, hadha. Book is what? Al-Kitab. So Liman, hadha, Al-Kitab. Why did I use here Al? Because here I am not talking in general. I'm talking about a specific book. So usually we use Al when you're going to talk about specific things, okay? So here he is, he is not generalizing. He's talking about a specific thing. So, liman had al kitab. So, the closure to this slide that if you want to figure out who something belongs to, you start with what? With whose. You start with what? You start with whose. Whose is made as a combination of two words, which is li and men. Li is for and men is who. With all of it, it becomes for who. For who, which is whose, asking about a person. We put about or we put after whose an object. It becomes whose book is this, okay? For example, okay? This is the first objective of our lesson. Let's see what comes after in the upcoming slides. So as usual, in the, uh, in the first slide, we've learned how do we ask, uh, ask uh, who, uh, who uh, this thing or who's, who this thing uh, belongs to. Now we are going to learn about possessive pronoun suffixes. Okay, as we said, we are going to learn about possessive pronouns. These possessive pronouns are called, uh, they are used as suffixes, okay? Uh, we are going to learn how do we use them in Arabic language. Now let's take a look at possessive pronouns forms in Arabic. What, how, uh, how, when I say possessive pronouns, I don't mean by it, uh, I, uh, I, uh, you, he, she, it. The possessive pronouns are what? My, your your also his hair and their these are the possessive pronouns and usually the possessive pronouns guys they are attached to a noun so we are going to attach these possessive pronouns in arabic to a noun and if you want if you are uh, if you feel uh, uh, you feel you want to know what does noun mean noun is ism okay 
So noun is what? Ism. Let's now, let's take a look at all possessive pronouns forms in Arabic using the word kitab. So here, the uh, noun, the possessed noun that I'm going, here we have to, to mention something called possessed noun, okay? Because the possessed noun means, uh, when I say possessions, yeah, it's something I own, something you own, something they, uh, uh, is theirs, okay? Something I own, something you own. This is my book, this is your book, this is their book, okay? So we, that's why I call it the possessed noun. So here I have a possessed noun, and this possessed noun I'm going to add to it Possessive pronoun suffixes depending on the possessive pronoun. Now, what do I mean by book in Arabic? Book is kitab. My book, now I'm starting with the possessive pronouns as suffixes. My book, kitab, okay, this is its kitab, okay? Now, what do I do here? If, if I'm using my, you add ya at the end, okay? Kitab. Change the form of ba because it's in the middle and I add ya. So kitabi, okay? This is the first one. So notice that here the possessive pronoun as suffix is ya here, which means in Arabic, my. And the, possess, uh, the possessive pronoun came after the possessed noun. Your book. We start with kitab. We need to change the ba, of course. Kitabu. Ka, if it's a masculine, you put fatha above it. This is called fatha. Okay, fatha. Kitab, okay, your book. So your is here. The possessive pronoun as a suffix here is ka. If you're talking about a female, you use kitabuki. So these that I'm underlining them are the possessive pronouns. His book, we know this, like ism ismu, kitabuhu, this is the possessive pronoun here. Her book, kitabuha, it's like the vibration of the wave. Their book, their in general. Their, if you're talking about the book of a group of what? Boys and girls or boys only boys and girls or boys only so their book usually when we when we used to to say they what does they in the third point of view means they is whom yes uh -huh. so here their means whom so kitabu let's use it kita B, ba is in the middle, we need to add ha. Look, ha at the beginning is like this. In the middle, it's like this. In the end, it's like this. So this is, uh, this is the ha that comes at the beginning. This is the ha that comes in the middle, like the vibration of the wave. The, and this is the ha that comes at the end. At the end, it's like the shape of tamar but doesn't have a line above it, okay? So kitabu hum. Home. So where is the hat that comes in the middle? We use this form here, okay? Kitabu, and then ma, kitabu hum, okay? Now let's continue. Let's continue to see what do we have others? What other things we have? Aha, uh -huh. we also have guys here. So my goes to kitabi, the ya. Your goes to ka. These are the possessive pronouns used as suffixes, which is attached to the possessed nouns and they come after it. Your book is what? Kitabuki. This is the, for your. For his, it's ha. For her, it's this ha. For their, it's kitabuhum. If I want to replace this possessive pronoun as a suffix and use a, instead of it a specific noun, I here, I didn't use a possessive pronoun as a, a suffix. Here, here, I'm referring to someone specific, okay? These are the possessive pronoun suffixes, but here I am not using, in the last one, I'm not using a possessive pronoun as a suffix. I'm referring to someone specific. So I'm referring to someone what specific instead of the possessive pronoun as a suffix. So someone specific. Yeah, I didn't put the possessive pronoun type. Kitabu is the possessed noun, okay? The possessed noun is kitabu. Kitabuhu maha. Yani kitabu mahir, instead of putting, kitabu maha is what? Her book, because maha is a 
possessive pronoun. So her book, okay? Her here is what? Kita, with her, what do we put? Kita buha. So if you want, if you don't want to put this suffix, possessive pronoun, you can put instead of this suffix, the name of a specific noun. I can in the exam tell you to what? To uh, write the, uh, the suitable uh, possessive pronoun as a suffix for uh, the uh, specific noun here in any question, okay? So, what do we notice here? Let's see what do we notice. So as we said that possessive pronoun always comes after the possessed noun, whether it's a suffix or a person's name. The word kitab doesn't change, but note that the suffix is different for every pronoun. So the word kitab stays the same in all the cases, but the thing that changes is the pronoun, possessive pronoun as a suffix because it's specific to each noun. Okay, it's different for every pronoun, okay? Here we have a rule of thumb. What's the rule of thumb? Let's see, guys. The rule of thumb is that you change the H sound at the end of the feminine words. Let's see what does it mean. The question here asks, does this rule have some irregularities? Are there some exceptions? Yes, the last letter of a noun changes if it was a feminine object. As you know, when we were talking about kitab, as you know, when we were talking about kitab, kitab is a feminine, is a masculine object. It's not a feminine object, okay? So when I'm talking about a masculine object, guys, we apply the uh, rule of the possessive pronoun as a suffix. Ha, they are saying here that this rule has some irregularities. Why? Because if I'm talking about a feminine object, look, this is feminine object like the bag, which is hakiba. We know that the bag means hakiba. Notice here that hakiba ends with samarbuta. This is a feminine object. So here, a little bit the, the rule, it changes, okay? Hakiba. When you pronounce hakiba, you are pronouncing it as ha at the end, okay? Hakiba, hakiba. So I'm, you are hearing the ha sound at the end, not the ta sound. Though this is ta marbuta, but at the end you don't pronounce it usually. You say hakiba, okay? Hakiba, hakiba. What happens if you want to attach this pronoun, a pronoun suffix, to this haqiba? So the, the possessed pronoun here, the possessed noun here is haqiba. This is the possessed noun. And we know that this possessed noun is a feminine object. It ends with tamar buta that has a ha sound. Haqiba, ha sound. Uh -huh. What happens here? Let's see. So this last letter, which is the ha sound, changes when it's attached to the possessive pronoun. So my bag is haqiba, okay? Haqiba, bag only is haqiba. But this ha now, which is, this ta marbuta, which is pronounced as, as ha, when it's not attached to any pronoun, a possessive pronoun suffix, it changes, because this is ta marbuta, it changes to become in the middle at, uh, as ta that needs to be pronounced. So my bag is haqibati, because the my beca uh, means, yeah, your bag is haqibatu ka. So yours uh, goes for what? For ka and above it, a fatha. Your bag is haqibatu ki. His bag, haqibatu hu. Her bag, haqibatu ha. Their bag, haqibatu home okay so we need to know that each possessive pronoun suffix which letter does it take so my takes again yeah your takes ka it depends if it's a feminine or a masculine his takes the ha at the end her takes ha the vibration of the wave and their takes home okay but because it's in the middle to come in the middle we write it like this as we said okay so here we are learning how do we attach possessive pronoun suffixes to a possessed noun. Example sentences here. Let's use example sentences using what we've taken as asking for who something belongs to or for using possessive pronoun suffixes. Where is my bag? 
Let's see where is my bag, what does it mean here? You're asking about your bag and you're using now the possessive pronoun suffixes in sentence because here we have possessive pronoun suffix and after it a possessive noun. What do you mean by where? Where is? Aina, all of us. My bag, Aina Haqibati. Okay, this is my house. House is what? Bait. Okay, this, because house is masculine, so here we're talking about Hada. This is my house, Hada Bayti. I add to it here. Maha is my friend. Maha, friend is what? Sadiqa. Sadiqa. Okay. Sadiqa, assuming that you're not pronouncing the ta. This ta, when you're going to attach it to my, which is a possessive pronoun, okay, what do you do? You change this ta, this ha, the, this pronounced ta, uh, the last letter which is pronounced as ha to become ta in the middle and attach to it, yeah. So maha, sadiqa, ti, okay? No, my pen is with me. I think it's maha's pen. Let's go down to start with it. Whose pen is this? I am asking here a question for who, to whom some, uh, this thing or this item belongs. Who's, what did we agree about oh, who's, we, who's we're going to ask about a person? For whom is this pen to? Who's it what? Liman. Here we shuffle. Hatha al qalam. So Liman hatha al qalam. Or we can say, Hi guys, in another, in another way. Hi guys, is this your pen? Hi guys, is marhaban. Guys is shabab. Marhaban ya shabab, because you're talking directly to them. Is this your pen? Now, uh, this is a yes or no question. Either you can say, hal hadha, because this is a, 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 a question that is a yes or no, hal, because we know that the yes or no questions start with hal. Hal hadha, guys, you're talking to them directly, so you are going to use the second point of view, okay? Second point of view. So, guys, hal hadha, Column, uh, uh, is this your pen? Pen is column, okay? And because they are guys and it's the second point of view, what do we use? Antum. Hal hadha kalamu kum. So kala, the ma, then ka, then ma. Hal hadha kalamu kum. So we need to know that guys means shabab, okay? What, what did they say? No, my pen is with me. I think it's Maha's pen. No is la, my pen. Qalami ma'i. Yani qalami, I own my pen. With me. Do we use la, qalami, uh, uh, ladayya qalami or uh, we use qalami ma'i, qalami ma'i, or ma'i qalami? Aha, uh -huh, so you're talking about something you own, but since it's an inanimate object, and here I remind you the inanimate object talks about non living things, okay, like things, you use ma, okay? So here, um, uh, with means ma, okay? We're talking about something you own. If it's inanimate, we use ma, ma with me, ma'i. So la qalami ma'i. Okay. I think. Adhunu. Please learn that I think this is something new. I a dhunu. Adhunu. It's mahas pen. Here I didn't add a pronoun as a suffix. I I, I refer to a specific person's name. I think أظنوا بأنه pen قلم مها because we used we talked about the possessive possessed object or possessed noun and after it what the uh, the the possessive pronoun as a suffix or the uh, or the what or the uh, instead of it put the person's name. So, 
pen is column, my pen is column me. And notice, please, here that if you're talking about inanimate object, use ma, and it depends on the uh, possessive pronoun as a suffix that you have after ma to use it, okay? So this is some kind of uh, creating, being creative and creating sentences. So if I ask, for example, column, whose car is this? We can say, whose car is this? If I say, for example, let's take it as, the, as an example, whose car is this? Notice here, what did I put? I put whose at the beginning and after it, the, the object. Whose car is this? Whose, what does it mean? Liman. Car is this. Here we have to start with this. Car is Sayara. Okay? Sayara. That's what I'm going to do. Can we use this? No, it's Hadi. So, Liman Hadi. Not Sayara. Allah Sayara. Why L? Because you are talking about something specific, okay? Please be careful. You don't say لمن هذه سيارة. لمن هذه السيارة. You add L when you're talking about something specific. For example, um, the answer to this question, no, uh, it's not my, uh, my car. You can answer here. No, uh, it's uh, Muhammad's car. Let's let's use a possessive pronoun as a suffix. No, it's Muhammad's Muhammad's car. So, لمن هذه السيارة? Whose car is this? We said it's Muhammad's car. It is إن. But we use إنها or إنه. إنها. We start with car, Sayarat, who's Muhammad. Yani it's Sayarat Muhammad. So it's Sayarat Muhammad. Instead of Muhammad, if you want, you can use his. Innaha Sayaratu Hu. Okay? Innaha Sayaratu Hu. Because instead of his, we put Hu. Now, after we finish with the grammar part, we are going to go back to the vocabulary phrase usage that are uh, invested in the dialogue. Is this, we have something called is this or is this, okay? Let's see, what do we say here? Is this, here is this, مثلاً, is this pen? Let me put the sentence so it can be more clarified to use. Is this pen yours? And is this pen belongs to you? Is this pen yours or is this your phone? Let's start with is this. Is this pe uh, pen, is this pen, pen yours? You're going, this is a yes or no question. You're going to start with yes or no. We agreed on that if you want to have a yes or no question, we, we should start with hell. Now I can give you another option to start with other than hell. Is, is what here, a. You can start the sentence with a, and then this is hada. You use hada if you're talking about a masculine what? Object. But if you're talking about a feminine, Object, you say ahadi. So what is the a sound at the beginning? So the a sound at the beginning of hadha or hadi is usually a shortened question marker for yes or no questions. So this a sound is a marker for yes or no question. This is very important for the online quiz. Type. What do you put after ahadha or hadi? Follow this with the object you want to ask about. So after is this. Follow it with an object that you want to ask. Is this pen yours? So I'm asking here, here about for whom is this pen? Okay. Either we can say liman hadha al kalam for whose pen is this, or is this pen yours? Okay. Let's see it with is this your phone? Okay. Is this uh, pen yours or is this phone yours? Whatever. Oh, let's say it, is this your pen? 
Okay, and up to an order, we have to put the, before the, is this, it's, is this your pan or is this your, uh, not is this pan yours, it's better, it's this, is this your pan in order to have the possessive pronoun as a suffix coming before the uh, coming after the possessive, possessed noun. Because in Arabic, we, have, we should start with pan as a possessed noun and after it, your as a possessive pronoun, okay? Because we shuffle them in Arabic. Is this your pan? What do we say? A. So is is a here, which is a marker for yes or no questions. Ahada, this ahada what? We're asking about ahada al qalam. Your pen. What is pen? Qalam. Here the possessed object. Is this you're holding, for example, a pen? This is a pen. Is this pen yours? Kalamu. Your usually we attach it with what? Here, if you're talking about a masculine singular attached to it, ka, uh, kalamuki or kalamuka. But if you're talking to a group of people, here you are talking, you you're having your, because you're having your here, you are talking, you are talking to a group of people. Yani you're using the second point of view and talking to what? To group of people. Okay? A group of people, that is what? group of boys and girls when it's group of boys and girls and you're using the second point of view or a group of boys what do we use antum okay so antum this is antum for in general look here we know that this is different here so your when you're talking about one masculine singular one masculine singular or feminine it's ka or ki when you're talking about two it's ka and ma okay ka and ma if you're talking about three or more it's what ka and ma down okay down if it's two i'm going to repeat in case of your if you're talking about one masculine talking directly to uh, to group of people or group of persons okay you're going to use your as a possessive pronoun if masculine singular or feminine singular you attach to the possessive noun ka or ki if if you're talking to two if you're uh, directing your question to two persons whether they are masculine or singular you add ka the ka becomes in the middle like this and you add ma. If you're talking to three or more, to group of students, for example, you add ka and ma down. So here, uh, is this your pen? It, here, it's not specified if your is one or two or three or more. If it's one, it's like that. If it's two, ahada al-qalamu qalamu kuma. If it's three, ahada al-qalamu. Kalamu kum. So the ka and ma here, okay? So so follow this with the object you want to ask about. So you start with is as a marker of the yes or no question. After it is this. And after it, you put the object that you want to ask about. And this object is actually the possessed noun, okay? Now, um, let's see what are the ways for saying thank you okay we'll see why are we using or investing all these kinds of uh, objectives in our lesson so here we are going to identify uh, ways for saying thank you let's see for example let me make it as a dialogue let's see with one two three someone was ask you whose pen is this okay should we start with whose you are going to ask of, uh, to, to who something belongs to. Whose pen is this? What do you mean by whose pen is this? Liman. Hada al kalam. Okay. Liman hada al kalam. Type two. What do you say? It's my pen. 
or you can say إنه إنه قلمي it's my pen or هذا قلمي so it, what does this mean إنه or my pen we start with pen ك لا مي so ended with an I I sound here okay قلمي so this is قلم Kala me because my means me. It's my it's uh, my pen. For example, thank you. You are going to thank him. What does thank you means, guys? In general, informal way. It's shukran. Okay, shukran is in an informal way because you are thanking your your uh, your professor or your teacher. You have to be you have to be more formal. You say thank you so much. What does thank you so much mean? Shukran jazilan. Shukran is thank. Jazilan is thank you so, so much. Okay? طيب, when, when your student said to you, Shukran jazilan, which is thank you so much, what do you answer her? No problem. Okay? Either you answer no problem. Here you're answering in a formal way, which is, لا شكرا على واجب okay so no problem means in Arabic لا شكرا على واجب let's see what do you mean by it. لا is no شكرا thanks على is on واجب is duty uh, for example uh, it means as a long idea don't thank me it's my duty okay so here the first way of saying thank you is شكرا جزيلا thank you so much in order to become more formal, then uh, no, don't thank me. It's my duty. La shukra ala wajib. Or if you wanna, if you wanna be more a little bit shorter and casual, you can say you're welcome. Yani you can answer the question in two ways, either in a formal way, la shukra ala wajib, don't thank me. It's, it's my duty. Or you can answer in in this uh, casual way, shorter casual way with afwan. Okay, I think it's very very easy. This lesson, it's not hard at all. Now we started uh, talking about sentences as usual. After we finish with the whole lesson now, we are going to start with creating sentences and then creating a verb. I want a blue pen. What do you mean by I want? Uridu. We shuffle. Pen is column, blue is azrak. For those who are interested to know about colors, for example, we have red, ahmar. Let us take the main words. Red is what? Ahmar. So you say kalam ahmar. Uridu kalam ahmar. Black is what? Aswad. Okay? Aswad. Um, green is what? Akhdar. So uridu either, for example, kalam azraq, uridu kalam ahmar, kalam akhdar. It depends. Okay? I'm just giving you information here Akhdar. so here the first sentence is uridu kalam azraq who are those or who are these you know that this as a singular it means what hadha or hadi okay like what if it, if you're asking about a group of people? Sometimes you say man hadha or man hadhi. But if you're talking about a group of people, the who is man and you're asking about a person. Those is what? Ha, u, la, eh, la, eh. So ha, u, la, eh. So those means ha, u, la. Who are those? Who are these? Okay? And you're, you're, you're asking about a group of people. Let's see if you, are, you want to tell me about you, what, what are you studying or in which faculty you are. I'm a student in the faculty of engineering, translation, literature, and sciences. I am is what? Anna. Student is what? Talib. In is what? Fi, as a preposition. The faculty. Faculty is what? Kulliyat. Faculty is Kulliyat. Okay, Kulliyat. Engineering is Alhandasam. Again, I add Al because I'm specifying. 
Engineering is al hundasa. Translation is al tarjama. Literature is al adab. Ah, this is a long sound of a. Ah. Adab. Uh, sciences is what? Al ulum. Al ulum. So I'm a student in the faculty of engineering. Ana talib fi kulliyat al hundasa in the faculty of translation. Kulliyat al tarjama in the faculty of literature. Al adab in the faculty of sciences. Al ulum. Okay. Now we finished with the sentences, with the vocabulary usage phrase, and with the grammar part. Let's go to the closure part of our lesson, which is the dialogue after we've taken all these objectives. John, the, this, is, uh, this is a dialogue that occurred in a classroom, guys. And here we have a dialogue between John, Alex, John, Alex, and one of the students, okay? John, Ahmad, who Spanish this? Is it yours? Ahmed is asking for who this item, which is pen, belongs. Whose is what? Liman. Pen is this. Kalam. We're talking about an object is kalam. We put after who's an object. We shuffle. Liman hada al kalam. Is it yours? Is it yours? This is a yes or no question because it's going to ask, ask, uh, answer either by yes or no. Is it? What does is mean? Hal, hal, it hua, yours. What you're talking about? What? Referring to the pen. Kalamu. This is kalam. It's the possessed noun, and after it comes the possessive pronoun as a suffix. Possessive pronoun as a what suffix? Hal hada kalamu ka. Or you can say either hal or you can say. You start with, if you want a, a shorter sentence, you can say a, ah, which is a marker for yes or no questions. Is it yours? Ahada, or is this yours? If you want, don't want to say, ahada what? Al qalam. Kalamuka. You can answer it in both ways, as we said. Ahada al qalam, kalamuka. No, my pen is with me. No is la, my pen. Pen is qalam, and my, we add ya, qalami, ma'i. We said if it's because a pen is an inanimate object, me means ma'i. Okay, something you own is ma, ma'i. I think it's ma'as pen. Here I didn't put a possessive pronoun. I, I referred to some, I referred to the pen by using a specific name. I think it's a dhunnu, a dhunnu. It is what? It is anna. And because I'm talking about the pen, أنه, أظنو, أنه, the possessed noun first here, and then the specific noun. I think it's أظنو, أنه, قلم, مها. John. John is talking to Maha now. Maha, is this your pen? Maha. أهذا قلم, or you say أهذا القلم. I explained this, okay? أهذا القلم. Kalamuki Mahasail. I think it's the student's pen. Adunnu Annahu Kalamutullab. Here I also I didn't uh, take a possessive pronoun as a suffix. I started with what I used as a specific name. Kalamutullab. One student is what? Talib. Many student is what? Tullab. Okay? Many students as what? Tul lab. If you want to, to put instead of kalamut tulab a pronoun that, uh, that is a suffix in general, it's their pen, okay? There it, it signals to what, guys? To whom, okay? Kalamu hum. Hi, guys. Is this your pen? Guys is shabab. Okay? Ya shabab. He's talking to them. Ahadha al-qalamu, qalamukum, the same. Hi, guys. Ya shabab. So know that guys, take it as a word, means what? Shabab. And know that students is tullab. Okay? This is regarding the lesson. There's now that one of the students will answer this question. Let's see what one of the students will say. Ali, which is, yes, it's our pen. Naam. 
It's our pen. إنه or هذا or هو. Let's see. Our pen. Our, which is instead of we, our pen is قلم, the possessed noun. And because it's our, قلم نا. Okay? قلم نا. Thank you very much is شكرا جزيلا. What will, let's guess, what will the, the, the teacher answer? Or John, what will he will answer? He can say, uh, no, don't think it's my duty. He can say either عفوا or لا شكرا على واجب. Either he says عفوا or لا شكرا على واجب. Okay? This is regarding the lesson, so please watch this lecture carefully because I'm going to give you a homework and you're going to do the worksheet in order to prepare yourself well for the online course.